just to recap what we spoke last week. Page Kuf Samachet? Yeah. Page Kuf Samachet. Or Kuf Kuf Samachet. Amut Kuf Samachet. Now, Azoi. We spoke last week because during the time after. Before it says Sekechavim is a period of time, three quarters of a mil, the walking distance it takes to walk three quarters of a mil, before it says Sekechavim, is, is called Ben Hashmash. Safik Yoim, Safik Laila. Therefore, one is not to any Malacha, both Min Hatoyra and both Midrabana in this time. However, Malacha Midrabana, in case where there is a great need, a grace, or if it's Tzorich Shabbos, or Hefse Meruba, one is allowed to do it during Ben Hashemashas. However, we said, this is only because it's Ben Hashemashas, but if someone lit Shabbos candles, or they have a mitre, we said Baruch or they yeah, and the, or did said Kiddush, and any of these cases, they would not have this heter that they're allowed to do. It's mamish like a Shabbos itself, because when you did something, an act that belongs to Shabbos itself, that means that you have mamish accepted upon yourself Shabbos itself. It's called Kabbalas Itzumei Shirim, the etzem of the day itself. You accept it upon yourself. And Shabbos for you for all purposes. So if I pour, you don't have any heter. I prepare candles for my wife. That's uh, you didn't light it. Only the lighting, the one who lighting it, except for Shabbos. She can no longer have this heter of asking, of, of doing something midrabbanan. But you could. You still have the heter for you. It's just been. A, it's just a, if it comes ben hashmashes time before ben hashmashes, you can do whatever malachas you want. And when it comes, it comes ben hashmashes. After Shkia, for you, it's since you were not makabel at Sumashim, you didn't have a married yet, you didn't say, say Baruch Hu, you didn't go say Kiddush, so then it's like a regular Bein Is that why? And that's why Kaddish we're makol for the Rabbanon, we're makol to do a the Rabbanon if it's a Tzorich Mitzvah. But for someone who was makabel Shabbos, who did something of the a mice of the Shabbos itself, for them it's Mama Shabbos. You don't have any leniencies. Ah, it's daylight outside, Shkoyach is daylight. But he was Mechabal himself, that he took in Shabbos early. Mechabal, Itzumi Shalyoyim, by lighting candles, by dabbing Maida, making Kiddush. It's Shabbos for you. How could you say Mechadash a Shabbos if it's not Shabbos? It's Shabbos. Then you would be a liar. Right? You can't. No, you can't is, is, is that why the last Kaddish before, uh, uh, before, before, before Kigavna is considered part of Mincha? Is that just a minute? Yeah, back? no, that's yeah, because really, my really just saying tonight. Kaddish and they have a yard site on Friday, so then they stay, they still say that Kaddish. It's a full ball, because it's before ball. Baruch. Yeah, uh, I didn't know the reason, I just was told that. Yeah, it's a full ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. One thing, by the way, I just want to tell you there is one exclusion the one accepted upon himself, Shabbos early. By, me, by methods of my river lighting candles. So we said they don't have this heter of Ben Hashmashas where they can do a Drabanan instead of Shabbos. But there is one heter that still remains for them. And that's a miral Just you're like allowed, Ben Hashmashas, you're allowed, you're allowed to tell a goy to do something for you, to a Shabbos, to so a even if you're in the Kabbalah Shabbos fully, fully before. You're also allowed to. Why do we have this heter? Only this heter of telling a goy. Why? Why do we have this heter? Because Chazal said like this, when you accept Shabbos early, there are many Kehillahs that did not yet accept Shabbos. Right. So, how can we tell you, you're not allowed to ask a Goy to do something, but somebody else and do someone, it. another Yid himself can do it. Can do it. Uh -huh. So therefore Chazal said, this Gezeira of Amir al you're not allowed to have a Goy do something for you on Shabbos, is not applied to someone who accepted upon himself its submission. So he still has his Hector, for example. But only to Benesh Moshe's. No, but in the Shemash itself, you also have it. 
No, you, you accept Shabbos before. Ben Ashmashis, you anyways have this hatter because you're allowed to do any Durabanan Ben Ashmashis. Telling a guy to accept Ben Ashmashis is also Durabanan. If you accept 100% Shabbos? Yeah. Not any Durabanan, but a Milonach. Wait. There's two things that happened. Right. Ben Ashmashis, you're allowed to do any Durabanan, including a Milonach. Because it's Ben Ashmashis. Ben, telling a guy to do something is also a derabbanan. It's called a shvus. Amil and achri shvus. You accept the Shabbos early, right? And I, I'm, I'm being clear, like we spoke last week or mentioned soon, but dafka when you accept Shabbos early by Lakas Nevis, Kiddush, or Davi Meir really, or Baruch Hu, right? You didn't Davi Meir, but you answer Baruch Hu, all these things. Then, for you it's considered Shabbos, 99%. One thing we, we don't, we allow you still, Amil and achri. Even when it will become Ben Ashmashis, what changed? Ben Ashmashis, you're allowed to do a Mirul Do we know exactly when Ben Ashmashis is? That's the question. That we'll have to discuss soon. But practical purposes, just without getting into the Lundus, after Shkia. For how long? Till say Sikicham. 18 to 22 months. I mean, you look on the calendar and you see. But what does it mean? We're actually going to start talking about it soon. Which I'm just oh, when the Zmanim it says, it says Ben Ashmashis? No, it just says Shkia. Yeah. 18 minutes after Luch Benj and Shkia. Yeah. Until Tzeis Kichavim. Oh, oh. oh. it's just look at the card. Tzeis, Shkia, Tzeis. Two things. It's a tiny question. <laughs> Is there a shita about waiting an hour and a half after Shkia to take Kiddush? I mean, I've seen it. Um, and I, I, I'm just wondering if you're aware of such a... Just Kiddush or Maidr? I'm talking about Kiddush. Maybe because they don't want to make Kiddush between 6 and 7? Is that what it's about? No, it has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. 90 minutes after Shkia not sure. would be uh, uh, close to 10 o'clock. Similar to Rabbeinu Tam's mom, but I'm not really sure why. They, if, they, if they dive a Maidr early, then why can they dive? I don't know. I don't know what to see. I don't know. Well, what is the... I don't know. We don't, I, don't, I never heard of such a thing. It's very interesting. Next time you meet, you meet them, ask them what's the. You were just wondering what the what the what the Siba was. Yeah. The is giving a show for a certain amount of time. And like people ask him why. It's just because some people. Oh, I know. Is everybody is hungry. This way, I'm holding the the cup. So <coughs> people should not know who yeah who not. Uh -huh. I heard it once. But I don't know if. Uh, Thank you. Halacha, or just a minute, we just want to go on his healing in such a way so nobody should know who. Yeah, that's nothing to do with halacha. Just to, uh, no, some something, 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 maybe something like this that he's asking. So, Mamai said, so Amir Anachi is one exclusion. That you're allowed to. Yeah. Okay. Now, however, the Alter Rebbe does say, which is not really so applicable today, but it used to be like you say you have certain communities that it's the whole kihila except Shabbos really. So then you so would not Nachri. have this heter anymore of a mil nachri. As soon as that whole city accepted mm. Shabbos, you don't have anymore. The whole svar of this heter is that other kihilas are still doing malacha. Mm -hmm. So once other kihilas stop doing malacha, you can't do the, those people that accepted upon themselves itzumi shalyoyim can no longer do. In the, in the mountains in our bungalow colony, we'll never make Shabbos early because it's so small that they're worried that somebody is, gets stuck in traffic. They won't make it on time for Shabbos. So they never make early Shabbos in the bungalow. For this reason, they're just saying, okay, we right. so you, big, in a bungalow, do you have to make sure you're there on time because <laughs> you have a problem? And if you recall, last week we did differentiate. There's a difference between adding to Shabbos, called Taisa Shabbos, Moisif Mechel HaKoydish, and accepting the actual Shabbos itself. There's a difference. A person can always add to Shabbos. You can refrain from doing Malacha. You can say, I'm accepting upon myself Shabbos. I want to add to Shabbos. I want to not do Malacha and add to the Kedush of Shabbos. But that does not yet mean that now I have a, a, a status of like someone who dab a mayriv or lit candles. It's different. It's like your status is the same status as Ben Ashmashas. It's like as if you took in Ben Ashmashas earlier and you're still allowed to ask, you're still allowed to do 
Malachas to Rabbanon, if it's a great need, or it's a Shabbos, have some Aruba, you still have that. That's if you just Moisim Machoil HaKodesh. Without Davening, that's a thing that we could all do. Not only we could all do, we all should do. Let's take a look at Sevdal. There's a time that we, from when you could start uh, Sevdalus? Yes. Only from Plag HaMincha and Meaning? We, Mincha Kitano is two and a half hours before Shkia. Right. Plag means, Plag means half. Right. Half of that time is an hour and a quarter before Shkia. Now we don't mean here hour and a quarter like our 60 minute hours. This is Shoyz Manius that we have to divide each day. Approximately that. Yeah. Hour and a quarter before it. Yeah, it's oh. Square. Has it a Shoyz every day? Yeah, it just says. You're talking about Plagamilcha, right? Okay, so Plagamilcha today. Let's see how we use this. Shkoyach, this is today is Chof Aleph, Yim Sheni. Plagamilcha today was, according to the Grand of Alatanya, 649. Shkia was 822. So 649. Act, it actually is about an hour and a half. So 649. Yeah, it's an hour and a half. Right, some people. Uh, yeah, because because we just finished Pesach, so it's close. It's close. It's close to God. Right, uh, it's an hour and a, a, a no, it's an hour and a half, but really an hour and a quarter. It's not much to say. The, the hour and a quarter shows Manius plays out to be an hour and a half in regular hours today, no, because a day is longer. I know a day is longer, right? right. The way how you make the cheshbon of is you have to take the newspaper, you take the newspaper, or take the uh, thing like this, and you see when is sunrise, when is sunset. Neitzah sunrise, <coughs> not dawn. Sunrise, and sunset. You calculate the amount of time. You divide it by 12. Yeah, yeah. That's the 12. hour of the day. Right. And it's going to be more than a 60 minute hour. For sure. It's more than a 60 minute hour. Right, you can make the Cheshman, but the Cheshman would be from 527 to 822. So let's say it's 522 to 822, make it a little simpler. So you have how many hours? You have 5 o'clock till uh, 12 is 11 hours. And, and, and till 8 is. Uh, so it's it's uh, 19 hours. A day is 19 hours. Divide 19 hours by 12. By 12. So it's, 19. it's almost an, almost almost an hour and a half. No, it's not gonna be an hour and a half. Let's see. I have a telephone. 19 times 60. 1140. 1140 yeah. divided by 12. By 12. 95. You're right. No, no. It's an hour and 35 minutes. That's how much an hour and one hour is. Now, you uh, show plag. plag, Mincha is an hour and a quarter. <coughs> it's a little bit more. Now, that's when you're allowed to accept Shabbos. You're not allowed to accept Shabbos earlier than that. If you accept Shabbos earlier than this Friday, mm-hmm. you accept Shabbos earlier in 651, you have to blow out the candles and you have to relight them with a bracha again. You're not here. It's... No, I saw this Mignon 630 Mincha. It's 7 o'clock Maya. Oh, okay. Right? So you're Davin. So they're exactly like 10 to 7, they're Maya. Right, so they want to be by 7 to 15 out of the house. So now, <laughs> there are two yeah, distinct yeah. things over here. There is the, there is the idea of accepting upon yourself Itsumi Shalyoim. There's no obligation whatsoever for someone to do that. No Chiv. There's no Chiv in the Torah for, or, uh, for Midrabanan for someone to, to Davin Maya early, to make Kiddush early. To light, that's not a chiyuv. Mm-hmm. Candles you have to light before, but anyways, but you have no chiyuv. Maybe it's a mitzvah according to Shachan Aruch to daven earlier. A mitzvah, but not together chiyuv. Mm-hmm. However, adding to Shabbos to Moisim Mechel Al Kodesh that is a mitzvah. According to some sheet, it's a mitzvah same in a Torah. Mitzvah same in a Torah to refrain from doing malacha a certain time period before Shabbos. That's what we see in Sifdal. Some say It's a mitzvah in the Torah to add from Choyl on to Kodesh to Iser Asiyus Malacha We didn't say over here Mayrib or, or Kiddush not to do Malacha and to add to the Iser of Asiyus Malacha 
בכניסס שבוסס ויום טובים In the beginning of Shabbos and Yom Tov, and the end, and the Mitzvah of Shabbos and Yom Tov. Shnei Mar, just hang out. Be Nisem es Nafshei Seichem. Be Tishalach Roidish be Elav me Elav ad Elav Tishvu Shabbatchem. It says you shall fast from the ninth day in the evening, from evening to evening. Yachol Yisana 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 be Tisha. I would think that you should start to fast by the ninth day, Erev Yom Kippur. Tam Lo Yibar Erev says the evening. Evening is already the tenth day, right? So Yibar yeah. Erev. If we we just learn, look at the word Yibar Erev, I would think Yalchem Ishet Tachshach that I should just start fasting when it's dark by Yom Kippur. Tam Lo Yibar Betisha. It says on the pasuk Tisha the ninth. So what is going on over here? Is it the ninth or is it the tenth? Okay, it's that. Maschil umesana bebedyoim. You should, one should start to add by day the, and fast a little bit before. We can, from here we see, This is where we learn out, you have to add This is how the Gemara says it. Yeah. We're going to talk about it in a minute. Ain't we Elo Yem HaKippurim? It's a Gemara Yem Kippur. We only know Yom Kippur. Yom Tov v'Minayin, Tamaloyim v'Tish b'Shu Shabbosis. Minayin, it says Tish b'Shu. Shabbosis Minayin, Tamaloyim v'Shabbatchem. Hakeitzad, how is this? Kol Mokim Shenem Ashvus. Wherever we see the Torah mentions rest, Meisifim Mechayel Hakodesh Mufanei Amachres. One adds from Choyel to Kodesh before and after. Now, a mitzvah same in HaToyel. Maisa, why does Alter Rebbe say this in the name of a Yesh Oymen? Thank you. Some say. Why doesn't it all say? Because not everyone understands that this applies to all to other young Tevim and Shabbos. Maybe it's only a limit by Yom Kippur. How, again, how does it apply to the Yom Tovim? I don't understand. It's a drasha on the words Tish Yeah, but it's not called Shabbat Chem, the other Yom Tovim. Yom Kippur's called it, and Shabbos is called it. And Yom Tov? It's not called Shabbat. What is this? It's called Yom Tov. So, where are we? I understand, but the limud. The limud is being learned out from... No, Tish Besu. From Tish Besu. Tish Besu means Shavos. Where did it say Shavos? Oh, well, it says Tish Besu means Shavos. Yeah, but it does. It does okay, say the word. Up. It does say the word. Yontov. Now Yontov, it does say. Uh, it says somewhere. Like, yeah. yeah. There is a shyness of. Uh, there are a couple of shyness. Okay. Yeah, you have to look up the shyness, but when it tells you not to do malacha, there's some shyness there. So the ma'aseh machloik is rishon. The Ram does not bring this mitzvah down. The Ram does not bring this mitzvah down. Not all we showing him hold of this, but uh, a lot of we showing him do. I'm missing something else. By Yom Kippur, I don't understand the limud. How do you see it's a mitzvah, mitzvah sase that it's even, even to, to, to even be, there's an Indian even before the before you. It's already incorporated when you like the, wipe the lift. It's 18 minutes before shkia. Now you're saying there's an Indian even before that. No. No, the one who lights the lift is one person in the household. Okay, so she's yoyt say this if you learn, learn it, she, yeah. But the, the one who lights the lift always ha- is forced to, to do it earlier because Early. they have no way. Because they have you're to saying even if you don't, you're saying even if you don't, you should stop malafa. You should yeah. stop malafa. The Ramam only holds of this concept by fasting. Not about malacha. Right. It's fasting, you should start fasting. Moisif from fasting on to Yom Kippur. And, uh, even by Yom Kippur, if I, when I remember... In Paul, the Ramah does not even mention as a chiyu by Yom Kippur to add and not do malacha. Just only oh, regarding yeah. fasting. Now, the one who learns, you have to, you're saying that the one who learns the fasting is, is sort of the mela, it also means malacha, that person. Because if remember, not, I don't remember, I don't remember the Makoyas, but that's my, I, I mean, I learned the last year, I don't remember exactly how the Ramah learns, but. Because it's a brice, it's a brice, it's a brice, it's a right? Yeah. So how do you learn this brice? Either he held, a, he had a different gears in his brice, or he held, this brice is not la lochav, it's another brice, another mishnah. 
Lamaisa, the Ari Shemim don't call this Lahalacha. The, the Ramba mainly. The Rosh and the Rif do quote this Lahalacha. So the Shukhan Aruch of the Machaber brings it. Because the Rosh and the Rif, he had his Bezna. The Rosh, the Rif, and the Ramba. General. And so the Machaber, the Seyis of Hell, the yeah. Rosh and the Rif held this way. We brought it in Nusach of Yesh Oymrim since some held differently. Uh-huh. Now this mitzvah's essay is just to be moisif mechel kodesh in the isra vasiyus malacha. You know, chiv to accept yam, Shabbos upon yourself for all in all aspects. That I have to make that kiddush and, and that we might have. No, it's still daytime. It's still day. I don't do malacha by day. It's not Shabbos. I don't do malacha by day. I accept upon myself Shabbos. I think this is more from because even a Shiloh, if you're allowed to do a Torah Sadarim, someone let's say accept the palms of Shabbos rule. But then you really you really need to do something. Can you get do a Torah Sadarim and, and uh, This is Nagay al this is Nagay al Maiser of Yom Kippur. A guy comes and he didn't do it's already it's a Shkia. Shkia. And I I've seen I've seen it is you do a Torah and Torah. What about right? Right, I saw it in the Yeah, right. uh, first thing, you're ah, adding up. What about something else? First thing, you're adding up. But here, but he said it's not a problem. I didn't ask him why, but Morozov said it wasn't a problem. Mm. Yeah, but okay, listen. Hatar is the dark. It was after Shkia. I think it was after, yeah. We're always book. I think it was after Shkia. Right? Kol Nidre is also a form of Hatar right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Life says that. I'm pretty sure. So, there is an Indian being moist of my choyal akkadish. So, that has nothing to do with Kabbalah and Sumishai. There is no chiv to accept upon yourself Shabbos itself, but there is um, a Mrs. essay, Moises. according to many shittis, to be moist of my choyal akkadish. Now, when, when is this time? We're going to see soon. When are we yeah. going to do it? And Sif, hey, we're going to learn about this. Mm-hmm. Now, before we go further, I want to explain to you something like this. Alter Rebbe Shachanarich. Explains the whole concept of being a shmashet and says that you based on the ashita which we don't hold the ma'aser, the shita of being a tam. Now the Rebbe changed his mind later. <coughs> and the siddur, one of the things he changed, and the siddur, he went against the Magen Avram, right? We spoke before, and a lot of other achreinim, and he held differently. And he did not hold like the shita which is called the time of being a tam. But the shulchan aruch that we're going to read now. Is yeah, and I'll, we'll read in, I'll talk about how it flies today. Well, also. Well, 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 and how, how come the other uh, the other Hasidim, we have the Siddur, right? And we go like that. But all the other Hasidim don't go that way. Some do, but not everyone. Some do. Some, <coughs> do. Do. some go like the, some go like the Goyen. Yeah? Yeah, there Poland are some. Does, just, uh, uh, most of the Polish are... Is your Mahal Shabbos? No, no. The reason they do it early no, right no. now, Kabul no, Shabbos, no, the is because they're in Kabul. It was in a group, whatever. They were. They what are they doing? Like talking an hour for Shkia. What are they doing, Ger? I think they're called the early as a man. That was square. No, it's an hour in for Shkia. Family, I find square Dabin. It's already. I think there's three. Well, I know you're there. There's three in the pub mall. Who was that? I tell you, I got engaged. I got engaged. Tell you, a lot of see them. Listen, I got engaged. It was my first Shabbos. I go, I, I'm late. I pull in late to close the Shkia, and I, I ask, I ask my shvigger, I, I, I need. I was familiar with girl prank. I need a late mincha. I need, a, I, I need to die. I, I missed mincha, and I have to light here. So don't worry, it's already very late. I daven, I, I daven by myself. And then I get some time for a Kabbalah Shabbos. This is a shul across the street. It was square. Go over there. So I'm, I'm looking at my. I, I just got my. I'm waiting. When are you going to start Kabbalah Shabbos? When are you going to start Kabbalah Shabbos already? She's waiting for the suga. I, I'm not, I just got married. I didn't know. All of a sudden, like like it's pitch black. Like an hour later, you start. I just say, "How you doing, Hashem? Keep it tight." My sister. You get from Musa. <laughs> yeah, it was a Musa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Lamaï said, listen, the Minig was in Europe, let's be honest, the Minig was all like a Benetan. Chabad Hasidim followed the Benetan. Mm-hmm. Then? Everyone did, the Alter Rebbe did. So when did it this change? This changed, the Alter Rebbe and the Vilna Goyen changed, changed the halacha, changed it, changed the halacha. 
they were the ones at a similar time period changed the halacha. And from then on, to Ingen Mal Maila, Meshemayim, the two G'dayli Yisrael from opposite ends of the spectrum, <laughs> each on their own, decided to pass in the halacha not like a Benetan. And that made a, a tremendous change in Klal Yisrael. It's made a tremendous change in Klal Yisrael. There, it, there was basis for it before, but I'm just saying the Minig was, in Europe, was not that way. The Minig was like a Benetan in Europe. And it could be certain Sephardish communities, it could be it wasn't that way, but it was like, but Akopanim, it was a, this is the old Machloikis between Rabbeinu Tam and the Goinim. It's called Rabbeinu Tam and the Goinim. And when is this Bein Hashemashas? When is Seisek So let's discuss it like this. Let's say like this. Let's just talk a little background. Which, which Goinim are you talking about? Goinim, which precede the Rishonim, like of High Goin. But he's a, but the Rabbeinu Tam, was he a Rishon? Right, but the time himself, you have to understand, the time himself didn't argue with the Goinim. We have Shittas of Benetan mentioned a few <coughs> times in Toysavis all over Shas. Yeah. Um, okay. Mentioned a number of places in Shas, so Benetan is not arguing with the Goinim. But we have a Tshuva of one of the great Sfardash Apoiskim, Ramesha Alshka, and he records that the, he rec- quotes from the sheets of the Goinim, that the Goinim had a different, didn't, didn't hold like a Benetan. But it wasn't like that they had a talk with each other. Right, right. Like is a Benetan, a Goinim is a Goinim sheet to record it somewhere, and a Benetan sheet to record it somewhere. You're saying the Goinim are basing themselves on other, uh, 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 other people before them. I mean, oh. he's a rich and he passed in this way. The, the Benetan didn't see what the Goinim said. I understand. It's probably but, not. But the Goinim, that's not my question. The go, the, he might not saw what the Goinim said, but the Goinim saw what Rabbeinu Tam said. No. Goinim preceded the Rishonim. Goinim is a time period preceding the Rishonim. Ah. Those guys, the Goinim, not the friend of Goinim. I see. This is the... Uh, it's not only Rabbeinu Tam, by the way, held this way. There are a lot of Rishonim that held like Rabbeinu Tam. But this is called the Sheet of Tam because Rabbeinu Tam is the, the, the source. The, so, the foremost source for right. So you have to say there must have been Go'inim... We have, a, we, have, we have an issue. We have a stira contradiction between um, different, different uh, chazal. The question how do we deal with the stira? Mm-hmm. We, we find that... We find like this. There's a Gemara which says that Tzay Sekichavim is when the distance that it takes to walk, the distance after, it's the time after Shkia, the distance that it takes to walk four mil. A mil is 2,000 Amas, and the distance that it takes to walk four mil is considered, that's when Tzay Sekichavim is. Okay, so it takes four mil after Shkia, and Tzay Sekichavim. How much does it take to walk a mil? There's a machloikis and we're showing them about it. If it's a mil's 18 minute 18 walk 20, or 24. 20, 24. Yeah. Now, if you take the 18 minute cheshbin, 18 minutes times four, four. 72. <coughs> 72 minutes after shkia, say to kicham. That's Rabbeinu Tam's say to kicham. That's called Rabbeinu Tam. You count 72 minutes after say to kicham. Those shkia. people that are after shkia, those people that are following Rabbeinu Tam are following this mahalach. Why are we not following this Malach? <coughs> because one of the main reasons is because the, the Gemara clearly says in another place, the Gemara in Shabbos says, that when is Tzay Sekichavim? What does it mean Tzay Sekichavim? Going out of the star. We have to wait till we see every single star. Mm-hmm. A lot of stars take some time till they're visible. Till it's really pitch black. So the Gemara says, as soon as you see Gimel, Kichavim, and Beninim, three average size stars, which are only known for those that, yeah, astronomers, <laughs> three average yeah. size stars, that is when it says Kichavim, and it's no longer Shabbos. Now, the Alter Rebbe and the Vilna Goyen both had, was one of their issues, great difficulties with this, because seemingly we see many, many stars way before 72 minutes after Shkia. It's already very dark. 
and you're visible already for many, many stars way before the, the sheer four mil has no, to be that This is the component that we see. It says that the four mil distance is a clear Gemara. It's a Gemara on Pesachim. It's a clear Gemara that takes four mil. So it's not only a Shaila, I mean, a Shaila, how do we deal with the four mil? Huh? Yeah. We see much more of before the time, but who said this is Beinonim? Now, another thing is like this. We know that... No, it's, uh, the, the, that's many, many be, be, Kichavim. Uh, the, so what, what... Not only Kichavim Beinonim, even Kichavim Muktanim, you could see already all the star, A lot of the stars you could see before. So... The Beinu Tam Bechlal, the way how he understood was that Eina Hanami, he held it was two Shkias. He held of our Shkia. Because it's a, it's a Shkia that everyone sees. Sunset is a visible thing. You see, the sun sets. But he held that in Halacha, it's basically meaningless in Halacha. That Shkia is meaningless. When the Torah says, you're not allowed to do something after Shkia, it doesn't mean this Shkia. It, there's a, a second shkia, shkia shliya, second shkia, which in the Gemara is called Mishatishke Hachama, because the Gemara in Shabbos says, <coughs> the Gemara in Shabbos says, when is Bein Hashmoshes? Mishatishke Hachama, Atzei Sekicham. That's when is Bein Hashmoshes time, from Tishke Hachama. Now the Gemara actually says, how long is the time from Mishatishke Hachama to Atzei Sekicham? Three, the distance takes to walk three quarters of a mil. Three quarters of a mil, if you, let's say you learn a mil is an eight, 18 minute walk, three quarters of a mil is 13 and a half minutes. That means, now if we, if we consider Mishatishka Chama, the Gemara says Mishatishka Chama, 13 and a half minutes later, it says to Kichavim, we have a big, Rabbeinu Tam is a very big problem. There's a clear Gemara in Psachim, which says there's four mil distance between Shkia and Tizik <laughs> So let's, let's just take, uh, let me just turn back one step and we'll make it more clear. There's two Gemaras. We'll go back to what he says. There's two Gemaras. There's a Gemara in Pesachim and a Gemara in Shabbos. The Gemara in Pesachim says that the time from Shkia to Tzais is it doesn't take to walk four mil, which based on a mil of 18 minutes is 72 minutes after what Shkia. That's, what's the Rabbein But Before we okay, use the okay. Rabbein Atam, that, that's such a Gemara, which is 72 minutes after Tzais. The problem is that there's a contradiction to a Gemara in Shabbos. The Gemara in Shabbos says, how long is Bein Hashmashis? It doesn't say it's a 72-minute period, Bein Hashmashis. The Gemara says it's three quarters of a mil. Remember, <laughs> a mil it takes to walk 18 minutes. Three quarters of a mil is 13 and a half minutes. It says, Mishetishka Achama. From Mishetishka Achama, which is Shkia. Tishka means sun setting. Mishetishka Achama until it says, is Bein Hashmashis period, it's twilight. Safi Kirim, Safi Glayla, it's 13 and a half minutes. How does this fit? The Gemara Pesachim tells us from Shkia to Tzais is four mil. Here he's saying it's three quarters of a mil. One is thirteen and a half minutes, and, and one is seventy-two minutes. minutes. How does it fit? Okay. So Avinu Tam says both in Shabbos and both in Pesachim, brought in Tosis, says there's two Shkias in Chazal. There's a regular Shkia which we all refer to as Shkia, and that's the one the Gemara Pesachim is referring to. From that Shkia until Tzaisa Chavim is 72, 72 minutes. Mm-hmm. However, the Gemara and Shabbos, which use a different term, Mishetishke Hama, it means that the sun has already, it's, it's a Lushen past, the sun has already set. It's talking about a later stage of Shkia. It's a later stage of Shkia, he calls it a Shkia Shnia, the second Shkia, that happens in a period of 13 and a half minutes before nightfall. Way after our Shkia. How could the and Gemara, what, how does, what? How could the Gemara use the same term for two different... It doesn't, cases? it doesn't, it doesn't. It's a Shkia, Sacham in one place, and Mishetishke. He oh. says the word Mishetishke is different. It's different. Ah, Mishetishke no. means the, the sun is... A, it, it's, it's already... Yeah. Already set. <laughs> now this is not Yetzay Sekicham. Right. This you is the period of time which is called Ben Hashmoshes. Now, he, the way he physically explained it is very, very difficult to understand because today it seems to be based on the understanding that the, wor- that the world was not, wasn't round. So, which, which there was a, the Gemara has a machloikis between Chachmi Yisrael and Chachmi Umasa Oilam, whether the world was, was uh, what, what, what happens to the sun? What happens to the sun? After the after nightfall, where does the sun go? 
It's a machloikis. What? To Australia. Yeah. That's what you say, right? But they didn't know necessarily about Australia, Australia those days and about America, well, we right? do, though. So, I mean, in Tanya, you could see around, uh, it says in the... Uh, it, 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 I mean, in Machloikis, already, Chazal already have discussions about it, right? The Yishalmi said that the world was round, and, but Lamaisa, the way, the way the Chachamim explained it originally was that the sun, the sun goes up and has like its own area up there, like above the sky. It goes above the sky, and it hangs around above the sky the whole night, and in the morning it comes back. But it doesn't go around the world, which is very hard to understand, right? The Chachmi Umo Sa'oilam disagreed. Basically, the sun goes up, the sun, the, the sun goes into the sky. And we're seeing the sun is setting, it's going into the, into the sky, and it goes deep, deep inside, and it, until it gets to the other side over there, and when it, once it gets to the other side, it's pitch black for us. And the next morning, the sun comes back through this sort of window or something, comes back in. Now, the Chachmei Umus Oilam held no. The sun goes around the world. And it says the Chachamim agreed with the Chachmei Umus Oilam. Now, question is, the Gemara clearly says that the Chachamim agreed to the Chachmei Umus Oilam. That's what happens. That's what happens. Rabbi Natam himself, when he wants to explain the difference between his two shkias, he says, ba- seems to be, that he's saying, based on the original thinking, which the Gemara itself doesn't conclude that way. Because he says that the sun, the sun, when the sun starts to go into the sky, that's called shkia. When the sun actually goes into the window, and it's starting to go into the window, and going to go behind the, the, the rakia, that's called the shkia shnia mishatishkia chama. And when it's fully inside, that's a sekechavim. Al Kulpanim, it's, it's very hard to understand Rabbi Natam, the Gashmi, is what Rabbi Natam is talking about. There's different Achreinim trying to explain it, and those especially who follow the sheet of Rabbi Natam spe- explain When you look at Rabbi Natam, he's spelling this out, all these things with the yeah. window and the Palai? Yeah. yeah, most of it, yeah. Lamaisa, Rabbi Natam, in a practical level, Rabbi Natam is saying that there is Eina Hanami, uh, it's getting their Shkia. And it's getting darker and everything like that. But when is it ultimate? Uh, when is when is it when is it mishatishka <coughs> chama that you're not allowed to do malacha? Is only the second shkia, which is 13 and a half minutes before it's says right. right? Which means about 69, 68 and a half minutes after. I mean, uh, 58 and a half minutes right. after say sekicham. Yeah. After a shkia. Yeah. That's what everyone. That's what they hold is, is when you have to stop doing melacha. Is by the way, someone who follows the sheet of Rebbeinu Tam to the full extent is allowed to do melacha after shkia. Like Rebbeinu Tam. If you follow Rebbeinu Tam, the driving is Shabbos. In Europe, in Europe. That's how late. Sh- that's Kihil. what they did. Those kahilas, those communities, and it's not those countries like- that follow the sheet of Rebbeinu Tam, it was shkia. They continue doing malacha. They're not considered mm-hmm. a mm-hmm. No. There's a continuing malacha. Right. Shkia, that's not what Chazal are talking about the Shabbat. The Gemara and Psachim is talking about, the, the, it says it's four mil, because the <laughs> ultimate Tzaytzik Tzaytzik Yechavim is after four mil. You have to wait for four mil 72 minutes. Bein Hashemash is 13 and a half minutes before that Tzaytzik yeah. Yechavim, before 72 minutes. However, the sheet of the Go'inim was that they have a different way of explaining the Gemara and Shabbos. No. When it says, Mishetishka Chama, it means Shkia. It means Shkia. There's no two different types no of Shkia. Shkia. There's no two Shkia. So no why use a different Lashem? Okay. But, uh, they, have a, they, they say Mishetishka means before the sun fully sets. It means uh-huh. preceding. <coughs> I'll call upon it. They say Mishetishka Chama and Shkia mean are one and the same. So what does that mean for us? That means as soon as as it hits Shkia, as soon as it hits Shkia, it starts automatically the time of Ben Hashemashes. Right after Shkia is Ben Hashemashes. <coughs> and three quarters of a mil later, it says Hakechom. Right? It's just and a half minute. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, 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 well, we go with a cheshbon of 18. We go with a cheshbon. We go with a cheshbon of the mill being 24 minutes. 
and three quarters of a mil is 18 minutes. So why do we wait so 72? We have to be 18 minutes. We're going to do a Bain Hashemash of 18 minutes. So why do we wait 72? 72 is times 18, not 24. Well, well, it depends each sheet of what they held was the sheer mil, whether it's 18 minutes or 24 minutes. Right, but we, we sometimes we want to go this way, sometimes we want to go that way. <coughs> no, well, it depends on what Rabbeinu Tam himself held. What Rabbeinu Tam himself held. At, we follow the Shita. Oh, I know because Chabad, David Meir, Rabbi Moshe Shabbos, what do we do with the not, so not the... Uh, oh, I very good. 60. So Rabbi Yisai, the big, big Shaila on, 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 on the Goinim is, is really what Rabbi Natan was bothered with. What led Rabbi Natan to learn his pshat? Because he had a big problem. How could he tell me Tzay Seki Chavim Ben Hashemosh is right after Shkia and Tzay Seki Chavim is, 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 is very soon after Shkia? That can't be. The Gemara Pesachim clearly says it takes four, four mil. mil. Which is, if you go with the sheet of 18 minutes, it's 72 minutes after. And that's what led Rabbi Natan to come and say this to Shkias and and even if we don't take on Rabbi Natan's explanation exactly what happened with the son at that time, but we still have this contradiction to the Gemara. So Rabbi Natan can still tie in it that whatever is going on exactly, there's two different levels. So the, the way the Go'inim Shita is understood is like this, that there is Gimel Kechav and Beinimim. When is three intermediate stars appear, that appears after Shkia. However, three quarters of a mil after Shkia. 18 minutes or 13 and a half minutes sure after. But, however, if you're going, the Gemara Psachim says Seis comes four mil is talking about when Seis Kol HaKechavim, when all Kechavim appear are, are, are visible in the sky. Yeah. Meaning it's 100% pitch black. However, for Shabbos purposes, for halachic purposes, for nightfall purposes, it's not Negeet Seis Kol HaKechavim. The Gemara in Shabbos Kuli says three Kechavim Beinim is enough. I don't need to see all the stars. So that's what, how we're going to... The, the Goenim themselves don't explain it, but other Echreinim explain how the Goenim are going to obviously deal with the Gemara Pesach. So that became known as Shittas HaGoenim and Shittas HaBeinotam. One of the big things that led the Alter Rebbe and the Vilna Goenim to change, besides the fact that they felt it was for the Goenim, it's more important to take on the Shittas of the Goenim. And those than the Rishonim, Goenim, and, and, and maybe the Rishonim didn't see the Goenim's words, if they would have seen they would have been Choyzer, a different thing. However, they have they also have a big issue is with the facts on the ground. Right. Don't seem to fit with Rabbein Atam. Because Rabbein Atam is saying that one of the three the Gemara clearly says that Shabbos, when it says the Kichab Shabbos, and we're talking about Maitsoi Shabbos, what's his mo- most important when we say Maitsoi one of the three stars come out when you're allowed to do Malacha Maitsoi Shabbos. The Gemara says three Kichav Gimel Kichav Bainanim. According to Ben Atam, it's 72 minutes later, it's so late, you see so many stars. It's not only three stars. You see, you see the small stars, you see, you see all the stars. So it doesn't make sense if it sees looking at the sky. Minutes. They were looked at the sky, both the Vodagoyim and the Altareba did not see each other's works or anything, and, and, and they both were, wrote, wrote the same thing, that it's, that doesn't make sense. And it sees on the facts of the ground. Don't, don't fit. It's one of, the, one of the things they add into the process, why they changed. It says for one of the, one of the big tzaddikim, I think it was the Kemarna said, will always remain until Mashiach comes. It's never, there's never going to be any final decision. Always oh, this key or that way, this key that way. Depends who you ask. <laughs> but the, que- the question I have. Ben Atam say Ben Atam. The Chassidim say. But the question I have is, is that Tanya already the Rav Tanya already says that everyone the world is round. No one holds of this thing, and Ben Atam is basing it on a. So there is there is, there is so, ways how to explain Ben Atam what he exactly meant. There's ways how to explain what he meant that it should fit, uh-huh. even with. It's difficult, but there are those that explain because Ben Atam himself wouldn't go against the clear Gemara. It says the opposite. Yeah. So, it, it's, it's difficulties in, in explaining it, but there's, there's different ways that face value, it's very difficult to understand. But there is, there is a, there's, a, there's so much ink that's been spilled on this machlekes, there's so many so sparrows. You don't believe how many books have been on this machlekes. Oh. And every community took this very serious, because this is basically a game for everything, right? It's the game for Kol Kula. When do you consider nightfall? Nightfall. Yeah. This is very important. Shabbos, Yom Tif. Which day the day you're born? Right. Milo, when's the Brismila? 
Did you the Tshuva of Moshe Alshkar, one of the big Goinim in Svart, he, he, he was a he was a big he was a Mitzrayim, I think, a Rav. He he he, he was was an issue about Mila. A lot of these Machloikim have to do with Mila. What is it? Is it, it what, what day was the baby born? It's very negative. What, what and Lamaisa, by the way, those that, the, mainly those that follow Ben Atam were a lot of times on the more zealous side of the coin. So uh, maybe from the, they came from Hungary, which is always known with that, more, of that type of temperament. <laughs> so the Hungarians went straight to Ben Atam in, in Hungary. They were very pushy about it. There's many, many svarim to disprove those that follow the Goyim Shita. Well, they'll say, they'll scratch up, there's so many Rishayim, there's a hundred Rishayim that follow Ben Atam Shita. You know, and, 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 and the, one of the big things that bothers them is the Alter Rebbe, because the Alter Rebbe was the Alter Rebbe, and he was also, he was also, uh, for Chassidim, how could we, how could they as Chassidim not follow Alter Rebbe, right? For Satmer bothers them very much, and all those Kehillas that don't go with, so they have a lot of different things to deal with the Alter Rebbe. They want to say maybe the Alter Rebbe and the Siddur, was maybe written before a Shulchan Aruch. There are so many things trying to get away and try to argue with Al Tereba. It's it's a very sensitive subject by certain people. This issue. I mean, not by us, but certain people are very sensitive. I've even seen people lately who've written to the side of the Goinim. Some guy made a whole kunta showing there's 40 Rishonim that hold like the Goinim Shita, but if you look into it, you know, finding out what does Rashi hold in this Masechta, what does this Tosis hold there, what does the Ramban hold there, what does the Ramban hold there? And, and going to some obscure Rishonim that, that people barely heard of, you know? And everyone's trying to build up a Rayas, Lakana Lakana. You'll go into a Svarim store today, you can go into Svarim store and ask them a Svarim, about Shkia and Seis, and you're going to get tens and tens of Svarim, and everyone's trying to prove this way that way. And the answer is, it's a Machlaikis, and a, it really always was a Machlaikis, and you follow what your Gila follows. It's not like, a, it's like machle, all Machlaikis in Halacha. There's many Machlaikis in Halacha. Each one has a right to their Shita. But this is and, very uh, sensitive. For a breeze, for being a man, for yeah. making it for this, it's... And the big problem came when communities came, when everyone was living in Europe, it wasn't such, so much of an issue. Why? Everyone lived in their cities and their places, and, and that city was uniform and hugging. Uniform, right? Everyone kept Rebbein the time in the entire city or country. There was no such a thing as different differentiation. There was no, there was no people who kept Rebbein the time didn't meet up with people who kept Ge'oinim. It wasn't really as much of an issue. Right? People who lived in Lithuania, Lita, right? They basically, most of them were followed the Vilna Gorin and were followed the Alter Rebbe Shita. So, you know, they, they, they changed. The problem is, where, where the bigger the Lakers came, when people came and moved after the war. Right. Because of the world, States. where you have the whole Europe in one place. Right. We have representatives of all these right. European Kehillas living in, in, in these few blocks. Right? So we have Vishtetl and Vachetl, we have Gary, we have Bava, we have Claisenberg, we have Visions, yeah, we have Lubavitch. And, and we have and this uh, Tells and and, Ber- and, 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 and and Mir and all different types of Kehillas, which, which were all their own Kehillas in their, in, and they're all living together. And now everyone's doing different things, all in the same court of the other person. So it became friction, right? You're Machal you Shabbos, you're not Machal Shabbos, right? Yeah. So it became an issue over here. So officially, there was, there was a big Asifas Rabbanim here in New York after the war. Where the Satmer, Satmer Rebbe and Ramayisha Feinstein, a lot of big Rebbes and big Rabbanim. And it became an issue that American jury, this is too much for American jury to handle. American jury sees people, these people say it's Shabbos, and these people say it's not Shabbos. Well, it's very confusing. So this is a... This is very confusing, and these people are driving or whatever, they're doing malachis, and, and these people are saying they're screaming at Shabbos. So this is... You know, and the, the Kehillah Sabal was an issue. You in their Kehillah they kept one. She's another she, she another Kehillah. You know, it's not it's not a big deal in Kirisel what they're doing. The problem is when you're all living in Bar Park, you're living in in, 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 in Williamsburg, you're living in Flatbush, wherever you're living in, and you're all doing different hug. So Lamaisa or then they were living in the old Lower East Side. So they came up officially that Moshe they the Moshe officially asked the Sat Rebbe that they should that they should Keep not they should be machmer Shabbos to take in Shabbos earlier from Shkia, light candles earlier right. and take in Shabbos earlier from Shkia. They wait so wait, he's, not, he's only machmer, it's only a chumrah, it's not going gokula. A chumrah this way, people Friday night, it's not a visible, you know, everyone's keep taking the Shabbos at the same time. So we'll have this issue. The only taina is that they taina, the sacra taina, 
that they kept their part of the deal, but they tainted that the other groups did not keep their side of the deal. Because the, the, the side that the deal was that Matzah Shabbos, everyone else has to take Rabbi Netan. Friday, you have to wait till 72 minutes after Shkia to take out Shabbos because it had to be uniform. The whole point of the Sifa was that everyone should be uniform. So Satmar Tainas and all those groups Tainas that we do take in Shabbos early. That's for the 18 minutes? No. No, no, nothing to do with the 18 minutes. Shkia. They, we, they tain and we take in Shabbos Shkia. So we, 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 we take in early Shabbos and we right. take in Shabbos late. So we, Someone told me the Rebbe didn't do Malacha at Matzei Shabbos until he, till he waited. For 72? 72. Uh, hard, hard to believe. Hard to believe. Malacha. He don't. He's stubborn, but he waited. Hard to believe. Yeah? Ain't a call out to Rebbe. Who's, who's not going to keep the... doesn't make sense. The Rebbe was pretty strong about it. It actually was actually one chutzpadikah. There's one chutzpadikah Satmar Barker that came to dollars of the Rebbe. And he asked the Rebbe by dollars, you know, uh, how could it be that the Rebbe goes against the Benatam? You know, like the grace of Kasha, you know, the grace of Kasha. Whoa. Good, you might like the good. Yeah. So the Rebbe, told, the Rebbe was sharp. The Rebbe told him, the Alter Rebbe, you can't learn Mbessa from Mir and Mbessa from Dir. You could learn better than me and better than you. <laughs> I'm saying is it's listen, it's a big machloikis, every kill has to follow its minhagim. I don't believe in Satmar also, by the way, up to today, if they're gonna have to be Kaveya bris, obviously they're Kaveya Rabinatam. They hold a Benatam mid Lahalocha Midiraisa. It's Nageya Pasha from Midiraisa. All dinim is Rabinatam. Wanna be machmer earlier, you can always take a Shabbos earlier. That's not an issue to to, to stop doing Malacha earlier. Yeah. But Mugabi, when are you Kaveya day and night? It's only Rabinatam. And those are follow the Goinim, are following the Goinim all the way for, for all these issues. And the Maisim, people tie that privately uh, in, in these type of communities that are that always kept away in the time, they do do Malacha. Maybe in Kiris Yoel, or maybe, you know, maybe in their house, maybe they'll, they'll do Malacha after Shkia, because really, according to their opinion, yeah. it's, not, it's not Shabbos at all. Shkia is, it doesn't, it's not. Anyways, we didn't get a chance to read Alter Rebbe inside. Next but week. Next week, so next week, we'll actually read thing. how the Alter Rebbe himself passed like a bit of time, right? So why do we wait six? Why do we we back around sixty? According to the Cheshbon, it should be a lot less. Why do we back it on the extra minutes? We don't do sixty from do from Shkia, from Shkia. We don't do sixty. The hour that you're counting is Our an hour, hour from 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 Be- Luchbenshin. It's around an hour. Lichbenshin. Lichbenshin. We do four minutes, I think. Four minutes. Forty-two of minutes. Forty-two minutes. It's around forty-two minutes. minutes, a little bit more than forty-two minutes, but it's uh-huh. not. This show does 60 because they don't want to be, Ram Razov said, we don't want to be different. So different that it should be noticed. Ah, that's what. Hmm. That's why the show here does 60 after. Uh huh, that's what. That's the MSC is, by the way, when it comes to these man of 18 minutes and everything, what all we were discussing now is man in Eretz Yisrael. Chazal discussed the times with Fi Eretz Yisrael. But the Alter Rebbe explains in his Siddur very nicely that these not really Tully. These, these minutes, are, you can't just say, oh, 18 minutes is Shkia to Ben Hashemash, is wherever you are in the world. Everywhere you are in the world depends on what, what the facts are on the ground. Right. So we have to make the Cheshbonis to figure out what's the reality of when, and we, we, meaning like this. We have to look in Eretz Yisrael, when it's, say it's a Kichav in Eretz Yisrael, how many degrees is the sun below the horizon? And that will be what you look wherever you're in the world. When we'll reach that amount of degrees, that will be Tesek Yechav. The concept of Tesek Yechav is how many degrees, the, what Shkia is when the sun just drops below the horizon. But we still see light from the sun until the sun really drops much lower down below, going much lower. So whatever that, we, when, when we figure out the Cheshbin, we say that Bein Hashemoshes, after Shkiyas, that right away hits Bein Hashemoshes, still says Yechav, 18 minutes. Those 18 minutes, we have to look in Eretz Yisrael as to when, where the sun is at that degree, when it's Ptseis Yechav, Eretz Yisrael, and that's what it will be wherever you're in the world, that amount of degrees. Wherever you are, you have to make the Chesh amount of degrees. There's a lot more to it. There's, you have to make another two minutes, the Fishi to the you see, but this is just a very, very basic outline of what this Achleik is mm-hmm. about. You shall mean Bechalim, they like Kindles much, much earlier. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with that. The yeah. fact that they take in Shabbos early is like. Much, much earlier. Instead of we, we officially no, no, no. 18 minutes. Lich, Lich Benjamin Yerushalayim is always like 20 minutes before everybody else. 
Yeah, Luke Ben Shishayim oh, is like 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Four minutes before everybody else, right? Before yeah. everybody else. 40 oh, minutes before Shkia. Yeah. 40 minutes before Shkia. This is all Yanev of Menhagim of accepting Shabbos early. It has nothing to do with I when factually is Shkia. This is just an issue of, 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 of what we just learned now. There's a mitzvah to take that to accept Shabbos, to stop doing Malacha earlier. So a lot of communities were Mahadr in this Indian. We set up 18 minutes as the Lich bench in time. In other kilos, they set up a, a, a different zman. Akadei Kach, the Yishalayim, they set up 40 minutes where they, they feel the whole kilo should accept in Shabbos at an earlier time. Yes, but it's not a halacha yeah. thing, be'etzim. If you live in Yishalayim, you're forced to accept the Shabbos when the whole kilo accepts it. But I'm just saying is it's not a... a, a that does not qualify when it's shkir, when it's a chav. That's just taking in Shabbos earlier. There was, there was one Shabbos by the Kaisel, and the people of the Dab and Mairi, because they have to go to the airport. And I see right after the Dab and Mairi, some people Dab and Mincha. Like, hey, for these guys, Motsi Shabbos, for these guys, the Dab and Mincha, Shabbos. It's Shabbos or Motsi Shabbos. Yeah, so those that, when they Dab and Mincha late, again, those people Dab and Mincha very, very late, and roll days because they follow the Sheet of Abin Atam. You feel the Sheet of Abin Atam, so you don't have to stop Dab and Mincha Shkia. Shkia, you have to stop diving mincha by the second shkia. Yeah, right. Because that's what Ben Ashmosh is. Right. According to the Goyin, basic thing you have to remember, according to the Goyinim, which the Alta Rebbe and the Groh hold, Ben Ashmosh follows immediately after shkia. Right after some shkia is Ben Ashmosh. Yeah, it's either 18 or 24 last year. Yeah. He, he spoke this. We mentioned it last. Last we went. Right. It, 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 it is time. Either eighteen or twenty. Because I have to be at the cleaners week, early tomorrow. Last yeah. week we learned about Ben Ashmoshes, and we said it was. And we count yeah. back. Yeah. We count yeah. back yeah. from from Say, three, from before three stars. I was using that nusach because that nusach goes according to all opinions. But well, Maisa, according to our, according to the way we hold it, that Ben Ashmoshes follows back to Shkia. You don't have to dafka say it. We don't have a fourth say. Yeah, it's safe, you can have my head. It's an extra.